If you edit audio or video, you need the right pair of headphones. While Beats and Bose may look flashy, they're not the headphones you want to be using. You want professional, monitoring headphones. In this video, we're going to review one of the best budget options out there, the Audio-Technica ATH M30Xs. The M30Xs come in at around $70 usually and include a soft leather travel pouch and a quarter inch headphone adapter. They have 40 millimeter stereo drivers and weigh 7.8 ounces sans cord. So how do they sound? With a range from 15 to 22,000 Hertz, the M30Xs cover the entire range of human hearing. Unlike the bass boosted beats and bows, 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 the frequency response is flat and natural sounding. Being a budget option, these don't have active noise cancellation for listening on planes or in noisy environments though. They come with a single exit 3 meter or 9.8 foot straight cable that you can't remove. The drivers swivel about 15 degrees side to side and they also flip outwards. And the M30Xs also collapse down to be more portable and fit in that travel pouch. They claim to be over ear headphones, but for most people, the drivers will touch your ears a little. However, the headband doesn't compress the size of your head and can be worn pretty much all day. Because of the $70 price tag, the leather and plastic aren't quite as good as a higher end pair of Audio Technicas, but they're still solid and very comfortable to wear. Although you don't get features like detachable cables, larger drivers, or a 90 degree swivel found on higher end models like the M50Xs, the Audio Technica ATH M30Xs still sound great and at $70 are the perfect entry level monitor headphones. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please click like to help support the channel. For more gear reviews and tutorials on how to make better videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you want more recommendations on what video gear is best for any budget, you can start our free seven day gear course here. And if you're trying to decide between these and the Sony MDR7506s, you can watch our comparison of the two right here. Cheers, and remember if you're going to do it, might as well do it on video.